chatty video. Um, I have been so, so busy with other things in my life, such as school and work, um, that I haven't really had time to sit down and film one of these videos. Plus, um, and I'll get into this a little bit later, I've been working on some projects in October, which I haven't been able to share about, and so that consumed all of my crocheting time. So I'm so, so excited to talk a little bit about what I've been working on lately and um, my plans for the next uh, month or two with projects and things. So I thought I'd get started with these socks. Um, I cast these on this morning actually. I wound up the yarn last night and I started them this morning. Um, let me get the label. Um, it is from this yarn company and the color is Montu. I don't know how to say that, but it is a sock yarn. Um, it is 75% merino and 25% nylon. And I will link this website down below where you can get this yarn. It is this really, really pretty, um, like greenish blue and gray and white. It is so pretty. Um, I got this this summer when I was in Pennsylvania for a short trip. And I've decided that my thing when I travel is to find a local yarn shop and um, get some hand dyed yarn there so that I can remember that trip by that yarn and especially by more than likely the socks that I make from the project. So I am just making just some simple socks using simple stockinette. I did um, a pretty short cuff on these. I think this is about 12 rows and I'm just now starting um, the leg of the foot with just the basic stockinette. I'm really, really excited to see how these socks work up. This is actually my first time using like a variegated yarn. I don't know if this is considered variegated because it is so subtle. I think it's variegated. So I'm excited to see that because all of the other socks that I've made, um, they're all like a solid color. So I'm very, very excited for these socks. And I, I think this is my first time using like an actual sock weight yarn because all the other ones, most of the socks I've made, they have been either a sport weight or a DK weight, um, the yarn that I've used. So I'm excited to make a real pair of socks with sock yarn and speaking of socks I did want to show you I won't be able to show them on the screen I finished up these worsted weight socks they're pretty thick um, last night I spent most of last evening finishing the toe of one sock and then doing the heels on both socks plus weaving in all the ends and they were completely done um, I'm a pretty slow knitter, and so I think for some people, finishing all of that in an afternoon and evening is pretty easy, but for me, I thought that I could get it done. I was confident that I could get them completely done yesterday, but I wasn't totally sure, and I was really happy that I was able to finish these up, plus wind up the yarn for these socks, and they are ready to go for today. Uh, I have just been in the sock knitting mood lately. Life has been so busy and I've just needed really simple and easy projects and mindless. And so socks have been so, so perfect. Um, also with these, this is my first time using, I think these are, these are 2.25 hooks. I, I've used this size above this for all the other socks I've made. Again, I haven't needed um, the size because I have been using thicker yarns. And so all of, so I've, I don't remember what size I've used, but this is my first time using these. And when I ordered them, I didn't really 
realize that the cord was so long on these, so I'm making these tiny socks on this huge, huge cord. But I'm making it work and it's fine. Eventually, I want to get um, like the full interchangeable hook set by Clover. I really, really like bamboo hooks or needles, sorry. I'm used to crocheting, so I'm used to saying hooks. Um, I really like bamboo needles over um, like the metal ones. I don't know. I, I, I wonder if it's because the bamboo, like there's a little bit more of a grip to it so they don't slide around as easily or if it's like the clicking noise that metal hooks can make. I don't know, but um, that is something that I eventually want to get because then that will be super easy just having all of the hooks or all of the needles sorry and all of the different cord lengths so that I can easily interchange all of those I remember talking about this yarn that I just ordered it or I was about to order it I can't remember in my last um, chatty video but my Sorella yarn came in from the Taylor Swift collection. I got the colorway Ivy. So, so pretty. I'm obsessed with this yarn. I couldn't decide if I wanted to kick up this yarn or this pretty green yarn. I eventually decided to do this one because as excited as I am to make socks with this yarn, I'm just not quite ready to wind it up. I love to just look at it in all of its beautiful Hank glory. I got it in the classic sock weight. Um, I think next time I get yarn from Sorella, this is, first of all, this is so soft and so nice. I think I want to try getting, um, like the nylon slash wool base um, just to compare um, because this is the nylon and wool blend and I do think it is a little bit softer and a little bit nicer for socks but this will still make a really 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 great pair of socks and I do plan on I think doing like some type of patterned ribbed sock I don't know I haven't really looked at patterns yet that's something that I want to do eventually um and like and knit up a pair of socks based off of a pattern for this yarn but right now simple simple stockinette sock knitting will do okay then another project that I really really want to start soon um probably in the next couple of weeks is I really want to knit a cardigan I've just been in a knitting mood lately I don't know what it is um, but I really really want to knit a cardigan and I think I don't remember the name of it but I know it's a pattern by all about Ami um, I will if I can remember to link the pattern below um, and it's a simple garter stitch cardigan that's long and it looks so cozy. I know she used um, Kobu, which I, which is a DK weight yarn. And I do plan on using a DK weight yarn because um, I do want to make one that is with either a DK or a sport weight because then I feel like that just drapes so much better and it's not quite as thick. Um, but I don't want to use Kobu because that does have cotton in it. I think, Kobe, yeah, that, that one is the one that has cotton and bamboo. And so I want to use one that has like either a wool or acrylic base, um, just so then it's warmer for the colder months. Um, and I, I feel like that would be so cozy. I want to do, make it in, I think like a, some type of, brown beige um I haven't decided on a yarn yet I haven't really looked for yarns I have a little bit of I think it's swish decay by 
knit picks slash we crochet um, left over from actually this blanket um, so it'd be this color and I think it would make a really really nice cardigan I absolutely love this yarn and I really want to make a garment out of it whether it's this knit cardigan or not um, and so I thought about I could use up those skeins of yarn and then also um, order more because I don't have enough I think I have maybe about three skeins of yarn um, in the Swish DK, but something along this color because I don't have a cardigan with like more of the earthy tones. Um, and so I think that would be really, really nice. And I also want to start a design for next winter. I already have all of the yarn for it. Um, I just need to start it and it's going to be a crochet sweater that uses some button details at the top um that's all i'm gonna say about it i am so so excited i saw um someone wearing like a store-bought sweater last spring that gave me inspiration to design this sweater so i'm really really excited about it um i haven't decided what stitch i think i really want to do some type of simple textured stitch i don't think i want to do like a basic half double crochet like i want it, it to have a little bit of texture so again i haven't really decided um what stitch i was thinking about doing the herringbone half double crochet um i really really like that stitch and i haven't used it in a design in a while so we'll see. I need to start that because I would ideally like to have it finished um, by the end of December. So right now I have this sock whip and I have another crochet sweater, which I ran out of yarn for and the yarn is not in stock from, from We Crochet. And so that one that sweater unfortunately got put on the back burner so i have that whip which i really do want to finish i just have to wait for the yarn to be restocked and then i have these socks and i don't think i have any other whips i have a couple like super small things that i feel like don't even count as whips um but i do want to start the knit cardigan and then that sweater soon i think those are going to be my next two things oh yes and i also have a hat design in mind um i feel like i'm being very vague in all of my ideas that i am talking about um but yeah i already have the yarn for it um which is great because then i would just be using yarn that i already have in my stash which i really like to do that would be a design that would come out probably next January, probably in January because yeah, I would want it to release in the winter. Um, I haven't made it or written up the pattern yet that I want to make and release in December, or no, in January. Um, but it would be using super bulky yarn, which I, I used to crochet with super bulky yarn a lot. I haven't really in the past couple of years, um, I really have started to gravitate more towards DK weight yarn and sport weight yarn and now sock yarn. Um, and so I'm really, really excited because that will be a super quick project. So I think I might start that hat pattern before I start on the crochet sweater because it'll be so quick and easy to make and then I'll have that hat. Um, and then I can kind of like almost get that pattern written and for lack of a better word, like out of the way, just so then it's ready to go in January. Um, I think that's probably what I am going to do. Um, by the time this video releases, I will have released um, my latest pattern, which I still haven't fully come up with a name for. It might just be called the Red Hat creative I know but it's inspired by um Taylor Swift's new album you could call which would be Red Taylor's version so I guess a remaking of Red um 
I saw photos from that photo shoot that she did for the album and I instantly knew that I had to recreate um, not only the photos but also the pattern. So that pattern is now up on my blog and the PDF is available in my Etsy shop and I will have all of those links down below. Um, it was so, so much fun to recreate that pattern um, and do the photos. Like normally, photo shoots that involve me aren't my favorite thing to do. Um, I do enjoy taking pictures of like crochet products, like home decor type things and socks. But ones that like actually involve me in the photos, I don't really like. Um, but these photos were so much fun to do and to recreate and I'm really really proud of how it turned out. I'm, I'm always nervous when I have a super specific vision in my head of how I want something to go. I'm so nervous that it won't turn out good but it the photos exceeded my expectations. And then as far as designs go so I have that design that came out and then this blanket I believe will be coming out in December and I have another pattern coming out either November or December or this blanket might be coming out in November I haven't decided um I just know I will have this blanket and then another pattern those will be my last two pattern pattern releases of the year I don't intend on doing at least the first three to four months of next year. I don't intend on doing a whole bunch of pattern designing, um, mostly because of just other things that will be going on in my life during those months. Um, I won't have time and I really want to take a step back and just sort of evaluate where I am with pattern designing and things like that. Um, and I want to just have time to just knit and crochet for myself because really all of the crocheting I do is pattern designs. Um, and so I really want to take time to crochet things just for myself. And then also there are a lot of things that I really want to knit. Um, and I don't design knit things because, and I don't think I'll ever design like knit wear or knit socks, even though I've thought about it. But I think that separation between work and then just relaxation and enjoyment is really important. And so making sure that knitting is just for myself um, and having that boundary is really important to me. So I don't foresee myself doing a whole bunch of pattern designing. I do have a couple of designs that will be coming out, um, but I think probably it will just be like one once a month for at least the first three to four months of next year, which I'm totally fine with. And I think it'll be a really nice change of pace. And speaking of designs slash content, I've just been evaluating what kind of content I want to create. Um, eventually, I do want to make more videos for YouTube. I know my video uploading is super sporadic and kind of whenever, um, but it is something that I enjoy doing that I want to get more into. So if there's anything specific, um, like videos or things that you want me to create, um, or even blog posts, please, please let me know. I would love to hear your ideas and to um, hear what you want me to make. And speaking of things that I want to do, um, is in the next week or two, I want to start reading again. Um, I know my semester will, so if you don't know, I am a college student and so it's been extremely busy up to this point. Um, and even though it'll get more busy, it'll still be less. And I think super big, I know, but I know that I will have more time um, just for myself um, starting in the next week or two. And I will 
have more time to knit and crochet and to work on this, but also to read, which I'm very excited about. I love reading and I look forward to after school, hopefully being able to read more consistently throughout the year because right now it's pretty much just summer break and Christmas break when I read. But I really wanna make um, a better effort effort of reading during the school year too because it is something that I really really enjoy doing and a lot of time it is a nice break from knitting and crocheting because sometimes I will just spend so much time doing it that then I get bored but then I don't feel like just like watching tv um so I want to get into reading and I have been doing a lot of researching on books I want to read I've been making lists of books and I've been you know, reading um, summaries of books and things. So if you have any suggestions on fictional books um, right now, while I'm in school, like all I want to read is fiction um, because I read nonfiction for school. So if you have any good book suggestions, please, please put them in the comment because um, I will probably be making an Am Amazon order soon um, for a couple books to read. And I'm also I'm hoping to get through several books over Christmas break as well. So I think that is pretty much all I have to talk about. I know this video was kind of all over the place. Um, I didn't really have much of a plan for this video other than just kind of talking about where I'm at with my designs and um, with the projects that I've been working on. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe and I hope you all have a lovely day.